Hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is the, about the fasting protocol to help with adrenal fatigue. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. If you are adrenal fatigued, Dr. Mindy wants you to remember to slow your way into fasting. She is making some modifications to the timing around the fast for this particular protocol. So pay close attention to the hours that she puts in to each of the fasts. The other key to building a fasting lifestyle for those who are adrenal fatigued is making sure you increase your good fat. You will want to stabilize your blood sugar to make fasting easier. The worst thing someone with adrenal fatigue could do when they fast is eat a high carbohydrate, low fat diet. This will make fasting incredibly difficult, if not completely impossible. The other key is that you are going to slowly back your way into fasting. The protocol that she's going to give you you might need to be done over a six month period of time, easing your body into a fat burning state. Remember, for you, we want surges of hormonic stress, of hormetic stress, but not too much stress. This is why Dr. Mindy has stepped you out of some of the food and fasting cycles that she's mentioned in prior chapters. So pay close attention to the special adaptations that you need to make. On days one through 10, you're going to do 10 hours of intermittent fasting with a pre-reset. And then days 11 through 15 will be no fasting with a hormone feasting diet. Days 16 through 19, will be 13 hours of intermittent fasting with a pre-reset and days 20 through 28 there'll be no fasting with the hormone feasting food. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.